the flood and drain system is one of the easiest and best hydroponic systems you can use. You get really good results with a wide variety of plants and it's really low maintenance and easy to set up, easy to use, easy to maintain, and great results. Why not use a flood and drain? I'm using it for these great carrots right here behind me and getting great results. I've used it with all sorts of plants from vegetables to herbs. And let me show you how you set up your own flood and drain system. Okay, so if you have the um, Botanicare flood and drain kit, you're gonna use a one and three eighths inch drill bit to cut your holes. And with, with my, I'm using these uh, active aqua trays. Uh, it's a nice, high, nice size for me and fits on this metal tray, metal shelf system without too much trouble. If you're getting a bigger uh, tray than that, make sure you check your shelf. Uh, make sure that the overall outer dimension size of your tank is gonna fit on your shelf. I removed that extra hex piece from the Botanicare fitting. And um, I'm just going to, uh, I've drilled my holes. It's got the two dimples here. So I've drilled my, my holes here. It goes right through and you have the dimples. If, if you're using a tray that doesn't have those dimples, then um, you can make a little pilot hole with a small drill bit and then use your one and three eighths um, or whatever you need for the kit you're using. The Botanicare are pretty standard, so I'd recommend those that work really, really well. And um, they're about $12, as I recall. So uh, that's the simple solution. And I'm gonna flip this over and show you how they install. All right, so I've gotten rid of all my plastic pieces from drilling the holes and uh, inserted these units in. They've just got a single threaded thing and they fit exactly on these shelves, which is why I like them. That's a um, three quarter inch fitting for the drain and a half inch fitting for the uh, flood. I'm gonna tighten it and then don't over tighten them. Get them nice and snug. Boomba. So I've got that just kind of hanging off the shelf there so I have plenty of room to go down to my reservoir. And I like to have the, uh, I'll tighten those down too. I like to have the drain behind the flood because if I need to work on my pump, it's a little easier access once it's down there. And I've got my other setup right here already for the carrots. And I'm just going to connect into that same reservoir for my strawberries they're gonna get moved in they haven't been working out that well with this dripper system that I've had them on and I also it's just not that convenient to have these hanging off the edge of the shelves so we're gonna change that up and see how the strawberries do in the flood and drain pretty sure they're gonna do better so you can see how they're doing now. They're a little ratty. I've lost two of them. And they're just not really getting enough airflow in these little boxes. And they're also more prone to getting the uh, fungus gnats in those little boxes. So I'm hoping that uh, in another system they'll thrive a little better. They haven't done too bad and we are getting some nice berries. Um, but still, we can do better we'll do better so next step we'll be putting in the plumbing and I'll be back with that
few of them are actually super big, healthy plants. Doing really nice. And quite a few berries coming in. So we're happy about that. Most of the real healthy ones were in this upper system and they were probably getting better water being on the upper tier. These were two getting watered together and I couldn't really measure it, but just from the look of the plants, the ones on the top did a lot better, except for one that died after transplanting. If you're curious about what the old system was, it's cocoa coir in fabric pots with a stake emitter on a uh, timer, a one inch tube flooding up through these pipes and it worked fine. Um, but you know, not as efficient as your normal tray system. So as an experiment, it was fun, but of course I'm moving on to this. And I even wanted to move the plants out before I finished the plumbing. So I thought I'd show you that. So here I've got my three quarter inch drain and I've got my half inch inflow and I'm running that straight down to the outside of the tank and I have put in a couple of elbows in my half inch line to make it have a nice clean run to the pump and that will go in and attach to a fitting right into the pump. Almost ready to turn it on and it's only taken a short while really easy system to set up the foot and drain. Alright, so here we go. Turned it on for the first time. And that's the water coming in. Got my half inch here connected to the pump. I put in a couple of angles to make it an easy connection to the pump. I've got all my lines kind of connected together. I like using these little pipe cleaners as an extra little tool to hold things together. And that's going to fill up until we get to this louver at the return line. And then once the water can spill out, it'll return down through the, the big three quarter inch pipe back to the reservoir. So it's a real simple hydroponic system, really efficient, very easy to run. That'll go for 10 minutes. And since it's in these cloth pots, it gets the whole root system wet. That's one of the reasons it's such an easy system to use. You'll get great results. I promise. <laughs>